song and of writing and told through the music. Today we're performing two movements titled Yorktown 1781, when Cornwall's troops will surrender to General Washington. And the last movement we'll play is an apple of 1845, which celebrates the founding of the United States Naval Academy. We invite you today to try and see if you can hear the story being told through both of those.
indicator mark floors composed moving at the speed of sound for the Hartford All County Band in 2014. He graciously spent his Friday afternoon with us this past week and gave us some insider information that he actually procrastinated and wrote this piece on Tuesday and premiered it on Thursday. In a typical year, our, grade, our students prepared grade four music for our district band festival and our spring concert, usually starting in January. This year, our students began rehearsing this grade four piece on April 16th, less than one month ago. A few seniors called me yesterday to express their wish for this to be their last and final piece of today's program, so this is for you seniors.
this particular award means a lot to me. The recipient of this award has truly exemplified the qualities that this award recognizes. True dedication, superior musicianship in all of the ensembles here. The recipient of this award was selected by her peers, and here's why. She prioritizes her membership in each ensemble in which she performs. For that has included marching band, jazz band, hip orchestra, and both symphonic band classes. In all of these ensembles, she has grown into a leader to her peers and an accomplished musician in all styles and genres. As an educator, I appreciate that she is willing to accept feedback gracefully and immediately to work to make improvement. It is clear to me why her peers nominated her for this honor. They observe her in all ensembles being respectful, prepared, while being flexible and a true leader by example. While playing or whether playing alto, tenor, or soprano saxophone, she can be described as one of the most dedicated band students in our history. It is my absolute pleasure to present the John Philip Sousa Award to senior Jordan Hunter. Gilmore Award was introduced in 1994 in honor of the legendary bandmaster uh, Patrick Gilmore and his band joined the General Burnside Expedition to North Carolina in the Civil War. This award honors outstanding high school band students and their achievements and commitment to the band. This recipient was selected also by her peers. This musician is incredibly talented and a member of both symphonic band classes, marching band, jazz band, pit orchestra, and now AP Music Theory. Although one of my quietest students, I have been able to rely on her as a powerhouse of our sound in our low brass section. I am continuously impressed by her musicianship, which has earned her placement in several all shore ensembles and qualification for the All State Solo and Ensemble Festival last year. She has been consistently present for all rehearsals, for all ensembles, even if that means walking home nearly four miles with her instrument. For four years, I've had the luxury of depending on her to perform confidently and provide the best example of an incredible trombonist for her peers. I would like to present the Patrick S. Gilmore Award to senior Adriana Dryden. Of this award is nominated 
paid by her peers for being a dedicated member of the concert band through virtual learning and now in person. In a band room of students who often forget their music or don't show up at all, I can count on her to be present and accept feedback graciously. In the few months we have worked together, I am incredibly impressed by the progress she has made, despite how often she doubts herself. I look forward to leading her through her time here in the band program. The 2021 recipient of the Band Booster Music Award is Megan Bergraff.
um, here today. To all of you. <laughs> Thank you. The last four years have been the most memorable, the most exciting, the most stressful, <laughs> and the most worth it that I have experienced anywhere. You have made coming here and moving away from my family worth it every single day. No matter how stressed we all get, travel, no matter what we're doing, no matter how late it is at night, you're pulling into the parking lot. You made all of the effort with it. I hope that when you leave here, you will remember all of those late nights and all of the hard work um, and everything that you put into this program because everything that you have done will impact everything you do in the future here. And for that, I am eternally grateful. Thank you so much, and good luck in all of the things that you get to do after.